I believe these will be of interest to you, Your Highness. These letters, they are from me. The seals have been broken. That's how we found them. Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 60 of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Last time we finally reached 100% for the main game, we began by witnessing a cutscene between Henry and Evie, where Henry actually asked for Evie's hand in marriage. Later on we embarked on four separate operations for Queen Victoria, involving a new band of Templars that were planning to bring dynamite into the city and blow up several targets. In the process we rescued the Prime Minister, who was being held hostage. So, like I said, we are now at 100%, so we don't have to do anything more. The only thing that's left of the main game that we can do is the one more weapon that we need to upgrade, which we will be doing at the end of this episode, and I have raised enough money, with, well, more than enough money now. Uh, we've got 35,000, and considering that uh, we've got two weapons left, one of them's 10,000, I'm assuming the other one's probably going to be that much, but it is just an upgrade as well, so... I don't know, but um, we'll definitely have enough to cover both of those and then we'll be completely done. So, yeah. Anyway, we're down in Westminster, just behind Buckingham Palace. We are going to start the last Maharaja DLC. So, I assume this is going to reunite us with Dulip Singh, the, uh, well, the last Maharaja of India. So, let's start up a good shot. Henry Green asks Jacob and Evie to meet him at a garden party held at Buckingham Palace Gardens. When the assassins arrive at the party, Henry and Dulip Singh, the last of the Indian Maharajas, argue about the lack of commitment of Dulip to the people of India. Hmm. I know this is several memories long, I think it's probably about maybe nine or ten memories long. I have no idea how long it's gonna last on, how long the natural missions are. I've never done this DLC before, so I'm quite looking forward to Your attempts to influence to do it. the Indian cause have failed. You must do more. I will not jeopardize my relationship with Queen and Country to satisfy your crusade. Your Highness, you belong to India. Not here, acting the part of a noble foreigner. I have wasted enough time indulging in this Your nonsense. mother could see you now. The last Maharaja of Punjab, basking inside his golden cage. How dare you? <sighs> good day. I say good day. I always recommend bringing someone's mother into the argument. <laughs> if he doesn't help his people... He will regret it forever. How may we help? Will you talk to him? He won't listen to me. We'll do our best. Ah, oh, look at her lovingly staring into his eyes. That's your fiance. Yeah, I don't know if it's if they're gonna leave the because I mean I know that the last Maharaja takes place after the main story. Um I, where is he? Huh. Um, because I was actually looking it up, and I didn't. If it was during like the main story, if it didn't really have a place, I would have done it across the main game, like I did with the um, other DLCs. Um, but it did specifically say after the end of the game. Um, so like like I was gonna say before I interrupted myself. Um, I don't know if they're gonna acknowledge the relationship between Evie and uh, Henry. Because obviously you need to have collected all the flowers to do all that, so there might be people that didn't do that you have and won't know that. I suppose Mr. Green sent you. <laughs> That's nice. Bringing up your mother was impolite, and he was wrong to do so. We'd like to rectify the situation. Then humor me and join me in a shooting game. None of these people have any sense of enjoyment, and I am bored to death. A shooting game? Seeing you haven't changed at all. Elsworth? <laughs> My word! <laughs> How good it is to see you! The mother country has treated you well. <laughs> uh, Jacob and Evie Fry, this is Brinley Ellsworth, a friend from a past life. You've made new friends, I see. What brings you to this part of the Empire? Ah, company business, unfortunately. But I could not resist the chance of seeing you again. It's been far too long. I've heard nobody throws a party better than my dearest friend. <laughs> I'm eager to see if your reputation overseas holds any truth. Hmm. A 
My servant Thomas will be scoring the game. Okay. Acquire the most amount of points by shooting the bottles in front of you. Each bottle is worth one point. You have 30 seconds. May the best shot win. Okay. Start the timer. Can't reach that one. Okay, so I'm not supposed to get on the back. This isn't enough of a challenge. Let's shorten the timer. Round two will now commence. Try and do as well, if not better, within a twenty second time limit. Oh, damn it. Timer at the ready. Begin. Second gunshot. Strange. Let me see what I can find out. I'm sure it wasn't anything serious. Don't bother. Hmm. Ah. Murder mystery. Not murder mystery, but you know what I mean. Uh, so we've got a clue and three suspects. Alright, well, as per, I'm going to start with the clue and then interrogate the subjects. Oh, well, there's the gun, presumably. Hang on, his barrel is hot. Hmm. Okay. Tried to kill the dulip. Are you suggesting this is a serious matter? It was most likely just an echo. Leave it be now. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this a long time. I know the difference between one shot and two. There were most definitely two shots. A second shot? I didn't hear anything. There was no one else. <laughs> Who would shoot a gun at a party? Well, that was helpful. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, it's near the bandstand. Let's see what's going on over here. Hmm. Ah, well, this is a pain in the ass, isn't it? What are you on about? Guns are prohibited in the gardens. Okay, okay. I saw the man in front of me with a gun. I just assumed it was part of the decor. You know how royalty likes to socialize. Hmm. You say about that, sir? That prince is causing problems. He deserves to be silenced. Oh. Uh -oh. You too will be silenced. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Right in the forehead. Lovely. Right. Your Majesty, where are you? <laughs> Don't mind me, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Inspect oh. a clothing patch of the British India Company in his pocket, a Templar ring. Oh. What are they up to now? They just keep coming back, don't they? No matter how many times we deal with them, bloody Templars. About that second shot, it was nothing this Friday. Now I must return to the party. Yes, do fill me in on your life here. It's been far too long, of course. 
Apologies, Your Highness. You should still probably tell him. I don't care if he's like, oh, there was nothing. Say, no, someone just tried to kill you. <laughs> don't just like, yes, of course. I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting. Like, his life's in, under threat. Like, that's just stupid. But okay. Okay, whatever. Henry, you'll listen to me. Because you love me. Any progress? We've got a problem. We aren't the only ones seeking him out. Don't tell me the British Indies Company is harassing him again. They can't afford it. Worse, they're not acting alone. And Mr. Singh wants to be left out of it. The Templars? It can't be. We have to convince him to act quickly. Or he'll be in deeper waters than he already is. Meet me back at my old shop. I might know something that can help. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Nice. Oh yeah, I just really, we're gonna get a, quite a lot of money from uh, these missions, aren't we? So there wasn't really much point in waiting around to. Go. I mean, I wasn't literally just standing like looking at the screen, waiting for it to go up. I was doing other things, but oh well, it's just a bit extra, isn't it? I suppose. All right, I'm not gonna um, sit around and just try and plug our time in between doing all these missions. I'd rather just, just jump from mission to mission. So I will do a quick cut, and I'll see you when we arrive. All right, here we are. Mr. Green, information intercepted. To make Dulip understand how important he is for India's future, Henry asked the assassins to prove Dulip has been muted by certain persons. To do so, Jake and Evie need to recover Dulip's stolen letters and give them back to him. Hmm. Okie dokie. Good, you're here. Uh, uh, okay. Come on, Henry. This isn't the first time His Highness has had troubles with the British Indies Company. A couple of years ago, they held his mother captive and blocked all his letters to her. Odds are they're keeping his correspondence from reaching the outside world once again. I have acquired a mail courier schedule. There are two separate routes of transport. The first, a mail carrying carriage convoy. The second, a train. If we set up an ambush, you should be able to seize his letters. Come on. Maybe this will change his mind. Start with the convoy. We must block the road. Okay. Set the cat in the zone and go down. Easy. Okay, now. Recruit rooks. Okay. You're there. Hey, you. I require your help. I require your help. Right, I need a third geezer. Excuse me. Where are you? Right, come on. I need your help. Jesus Christ, you guys are useless. Right. The convoy is headed our way. Stay with Henry. Understood. We'll do. Got it. Yeah, we don't need no stinky dynamite. Although. There's no need for any of that. Hey! It's not hurting Henry.
What did I say? I said there's no hurt in Henry. Mr. Singh over for a spot of tea. Spot of tea? Alright, excuse me, folks. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. He said he was going to go to the shop, so I assumed he was done. Here now. Henry, come on. If, if you wanted a lift, you should have asked for one. Don't go. I'm just going to return to my shop, which is literally just around the corner. There you go. Don't give me all that. He said he was going back to the shop. Did he not just say he was going back to the shop? <laughs> and now he's joining us on the second ambush. I don't, I don't understand. He's going to go and meet with Mr. Singh. But no, apparently not. I'm being tricked and possibly bamboozled. That's fine. I'd just a like to, you know, a little bit of prior notice. Don't drive it the way of the road. Come on. You deserve that. Okie dokie. Right, where's this train at? Now you're staying in the carriage, are you? Shoot that man. I need him. Are you well? Are you well? Right. Where's it actually going to come from, though? It come from in the station or. Doesn't matter. I'm probably not going to end up using any of this dynamite, but at least it looks like I'm uh, doing something. Those letters should be inside the train. Train will do. Understood. Why do we stop? The boss will be angry if we don't deliver these on time. Right, come on. I'll tell you all of them. You ain't all that. How dare you? Alright, there they are. It's boogie. Oh, nice. Nice. Right. Give me those letters. Henry was right. I should show him what I found. Uh, please don't glitch. Uh, what are you doing? I think it's glitched. Oh, wait, no. She's doing it. I was about to back out and everything. Right. I'm none of your business. You're not getting me. You've not got a clear shot, let's be honest. Okay, I was hoping you'd go over that way, but sure. <laughs> 
Exactly, the fact my console crashed it was so sudden that it just turned to black then. I was like, hang on. There is a difference between pacifism and inaction. How many times do I have to tell you? You two do have impeccable timing. Can we interrupt something? I believe these will be of interest to you, Your Highness. These letters, they are from me. The seals have been broken. That's how we found them. So Evie found them. This is a letter I wrote to my mother when I was just a boy. Where did you find these possessions of mine? On a mail convoy. The Templars. They have a way of getting to you. I thought I had put an end to it years ago. But the British Indies Company continues to steal my property. You were right to think something strange was afoot. We must take action. It will not be possible without your help. I believe you're right. But I must have some time to think on this. In the meantime, please be discreet. I don't need Her Majesty finding out about this. Alright. Well, at least he's finally seen sense. Right. What's your next video game? Oh, it's only around the corner. Alright. Well. Not doing too bad. I reckon we've probably got enough time for one more mission. So, um. Actually, let me just double check how long this is. So. Let's do three. Yeah, so about four episodes in total. Possibly. Obviously, that completely depends on if the length of the missions are the same. I have no idea. But, works for me. Right, we need to be discreet. Stealing from the poor. Dulip discovers there is a plan in motion to donate stolen Indian Punjabi riches to the British India Company's organisation, BIC. This transaction must be stopped. The Indian, rich Indian riches shall return to India. Well, let's hope so. We shall work to ensure it. Good to see you again. The pleasure is mine. Shall we? It has come to my attention that the British Indies Company has stolen a large sum of wealth from the good people of Punjab. It is my intention to send it back. And where is this gold located? All I've managed to find out is that the BIC have their very own accountant. Perhaps he will have more information about this. Good plan. Apparently, he likes to frequent a certain pub. Well, if I'd have known I should have been walking towards it the entire time, I'd have bloody done so. Okay. All right. Well, they like I'm keeping up with our mysteries, don't they? All right. The accountant should be here somewhere. Okay. Do we have any clues? Or are they just? No, it's not doing a, like an investigation zone, is it? But I don't hang around with that sort. All right. Okay. So you're a racist. That's fair enough. Oh, you just missed him. He headed to the bank with a couple of men I'd never seen before. Which is odd, because the bank isn't even open now that I think of it. Hmm. He's right. We should go to the bank. Okay. Come on, Your Highness. There you are. Let's go and speak to this accountant then. See what nefarious business he's up to in the in the late hours of the night. Easy now. It's closed. We have to find another way in. I will secure a safe route before following you inside. Get in first. I'll join you later. Which means I've got to go in through the assassin and assassin's way. Well, thankfully we've broke into the um, the bank before, haven't we? So I don't know if they would have uh, seen the way that Jacob made his way inside and decided to start rectifying things and shutting windows, but no, it doesn't look like they've done that. <laughs> they just decided, like, yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. Okay, um, oops, I was going to do it all stealthy like and uh, incapacitate people because you know they are just doing their jobs. Okay, didn't someone give me my, my back, thank you very much. Um ah. Intruder. 
Uh oh. See, well now I can't play nice anymore. Good day. This guy's gonna realise he got off lucky when he comes to. Okay. Hmm. Wait a minute. Am I in the right area? Did I even. Ah. I was like. He's around here somewhere. I was confused for a second. Oh, he's down there. Where the bloody hell did he get in? Do you have any idea who you're working for? The BIC accounts are confidential. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just let me go and I'll be quiet. I promise you. Not a chance. We'll take them out together, but we've got to do so quietly. Oh, why did you become a bloody assassin? Ready? Indebted to you. The British Indies thugs have somewhat worked him over. We need to get him to safety. Uh oh. We've got There's company. On our affairs. Find them and kill them. Well, that's not very good. Stay undetected. We must bring the accountant with us. He'll die if we leave him here. Well, oh dear. Thank you both. I, I would have died back there. What can I do to repay you? We need to know what the British Indies Company wants with the stolen Punjabi gold. That I do not know. What I can tell you is that they've taken it to a warehouse in Southwark. Whatever they want with it, they Are you taking the mech? That I do not know. What I can tell you is that they've taken it to a warehouse in Southwark. Whatever they want with it, it's good. Don't hold people hostage when there's good news on the line. Um, okay. I thought there was a way up. Appears not. This is a mistake. So nice. We got people at the top though. Not so nice. Just leave you there for the time being. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where the hell did you come from? Uh, Dulip, do you maybe want to help me out here? <sighs> That's bloody close. 
Thanks. Just completely ignore me. <laughs> completely ignore Dulip, and then just go for me. That's that's how it goes. He's just stood there looking at him right in the eye, realizing he's going to see me, and then just be like, "Hmm, whatever." Right, hopefully, we should be clear. Take this fool outside. Ah, uh, blimey. Quick, put him in the back. I will take him to the hospital. Please, don't leave me behind. Be left behind. We shall reconvene later. Thank you, Miss Fry. You're welcome, I suppose. Cheeky bastard. Alright, stealing from the paw. We are done. Done, 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 done. Right. I need some supplies. So, in fact, you know what? I'll do that in my own time. Let's go through our progression log. So, obviously, we're only working on the London stories. We've now done three out of ten missions. So, just shy of a third of the way there. Very nice. Um... Inventory. Um, in fact, I'll do this with uh, Jacob. Database, encyclopedia, people, groups. We got the British India Company. Bunch of bastards, if you ask me. Alright. Switch over, Jackie boy. Uh, why are you still showing me all this crap? I have I done it. I've done it. Just calm yourself. Calm your situation. Alright. Let's get. Uh, the world's greatest cane sword. Do you, did you know there are 23 species of vulture and not one of them has rubies for eyes? Well, ain't that just about a bitch? So there we go. We have now upgraded every weapon in the game by the Obsidian Kukri, which we're going to get finishing at the last Maharaja. So, yeah, very good. Alright, that is going to end it for today. Uh, good episode, I'm quite enjoying this DLC so far. It's uh, definitely very unique, it's not just like a little grab quest like the bloody Darwin and Dickens conspiracy thing was. It seems to be quite unique and I am uh, enjoying it and I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes to. Before we wrap up, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My five pound patrons are Ever the Snake and Ron Hyler. You can find links to their channels as well as my other three pound patrons in the description down below. And don't screen a secret to my one pound patrons. Thank you so much everyone. It is truly appreciated and it goes a long way to help with the channel so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to become a patron you can follow the link in the description down below. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.